There's this song I was hearing recently, and uh, it's a funny song that Steez. This is gonna eat the Steez, you know, some song like that. And funny enough, this word Steez has become a very interesting word that a lot of people get to use now here in Ghana, especially with the young people coming up, you know. And I just thought, why just not use it to create something? So, what you see on your screen is what we are going to be designing today with the word Steez, okay? So, yeah, if you're interested, look, we are just going to get started. But before we even get to do it subscribe if you haven't or if you're new to this channel we solely use canva okay and gradually we might add affinity okay so stay tuned for that one as well so yes without any further ado let's dive straight into canva and let's get started so you can see i've actually done it multiple times but i just thought why not just create it again just to help you a full tutorial okay so the background is yellow the dimension we are using is 1080 by 1350 okay so now that we have this what are we going to do first let's press r on our keyboard to add a shape and we are using the color i'm sure it's ffb800 okay that's what we are using for this i would increase the size to make it match okay the canvas or something like that and i'll extend it a little bit okay so this is what we have at the moment now we'll come to element okay in element make sure you're going into shapes all right and in shapes we are just going to scroll down a little bit till we find this particular shape okay so what we want to do is to first of all make sure the color is matching the yellow okay so something like this should be fine okay so we will just drag it down like that and maybe have it here okay then we can have another one here like this okay and maybe another one a little bit down like that and this can be up okay so if you can see what we are trying to do okay we want to give it like a tech vibe also okay so that's all we are trying to do okay i think this is too much first of all so i'm going to delete maybe this one increase this a little bit and bring this here and stretch this out okay so that at least we are doing something cool so this is what we have at the moment and i think it works okay so select everything right click and choose group Control g okay to group all right so this is what we have at the moment the next thing we want to do is to search for our image okay so i can just come in and search for wrapper okay and we can see there's so many photos here we can use so many photos so go through and just choose any one of your choice you want to use so this is my image okay i've been able to put it up and i will just you know crop him like this come to bg remover to remove the background there's a canva pro feature and if you're on the free version of canva what i can do for you is i have a free link in the description box below that would help you try canva pro for free okay so make sure you're checking it out you don't have to pay for you know the tryout so just check it out and join us okay or we can complete this and um you can try canva pro afterwards okay so that's what we have to do now and now add him here and increase the image okay what did i say increase <laughs> funny all right so this is the image over here then before we do any touchings and things to the image we want to add our word our special word so press t on the keyboard and just type you know your special word mine is the steez so steez and not increase the font okay so with this one we need um, a bold font you can use lee gothic okay and set it to all caps okay so you can use lee gothic over here you can see it works perfectly especially if i bring it up and i send it behind him you can see it works well the other custom font i have is the champion gothic and that's what i'm going to use i actually had to upload it in canva so I'm going to use this, but you can use um, which one, the Lee Gothic or any display font of your choice. Okay, nice. So now that we have it over here, come to element and search for light. Okay, so the first one you usually wouldn't see, but it's part of it under graphics. Okay, then I'll have it here, send it behind him. Okay, so that we are at least making him stand out. Okay now the next font we want to use is our prestige on my keyboard i'll put this over here okay and i'll just come into text and search for the astron okay so search for astron is a free font and we'll just say fashion show okay so fashion 
show all right so fashion show and we'll make it all caps as well okay so i'll position this here and i'll change the alignment to left okay and because i want to make it bigger i'll just keep them compact okay and increase the size so they maybe just tease fashion show you know <laughs> sometimes you have to just come up with stuff if you are creative you know all right so we have it over here and we also want to add some extra font or extra text just to give more information about the, the program so i'm going to do that quickly so you can see this is it over here but what you can realize is that it's hard to read okay so i'll select it all come into text and i'm going to use another font which is the roboto mono okay so roboto mono and um, you can see at least this is better and we can just take off the uppercase from it okay so that it's normal all right and i may just push this in a little bit so that my text can have more room to breathe okay so you can see what i'm doing interesting nice then let's come here let's search for um this parental thing okay so parental advice you because this one i'm not sure it's for kids okay so parental advice you and you can see we have these things over here so i'll add them i'll just add it here okay now we want to add the date the and stuff so press r on the keyboard again okay then you can do what i'm doing or you can see what i'm doing so you can position it here something like this okay then we let's change the color to black all right then we want to use some of the text then we want to use some of the shapes we used earlier on okay so i'll close this up and i'll come into shapes all right so over here just scroll down and find what's the name of the shape trapezoid okay so we're going to be using a lot of trapezoids in here so make sure the color is black then we can just bring it here okay so just make sure it's popping out on the sides of this okay so it's just popping out here so this can be here and this can be somewhere here then this maybe can be here like that okay then we can select them all okay and duplicate it all right then you can just rotate it just like this okay then bring it somewhere here okay so we can now select everything here and unselect this okay and unselect the background as well if you are struggling to unselect the background just come to right click or just right click come to layer show layers okay then you just go down you see the background yellow press ctrl and click on it okay so that it deselects it all right then you can group it all right so this is what we have at the moment all right and i can make it a bit smaller and just pull it up here so you can see what we have at the moment okay so what you can simply do here is you can add the date okay so i will duplicate this font the steezy font <laughs> and change the color to yellow reduce it and i'll add the date okay so i'll just say dates and um, it could be because this this is for a fashion show okay so a fashion tour or something like that so we are just trying to create something okay then we'll duplicate these fonts as well and we'll change the color to white okay then you can see it's behind so we can just right click come to layer and come to show layers okay then move it on top okay so you can see what it is then i just put sample dates in here so maybe this can be 27 uh november 2025 okay that's what we can do and uh increase the size a little bit okay so we can just duplicate this something like this all right then you can change this to maybe the location so i just put one two three anywhere okay street okay so something like this all right and we will have multiple dates so i can put this here and i can also put this maybe somewhere here okay so i can increase the size a little bit to accommodate this okay so something like this is fine you move to the top select all and make sure it's centered okay nice one there then we'll select just the dates okay so this date and this one 
all right and change the color to yellow and this tutorial might be more of like an advanced stuff so you just have to be patient and follow okay so now that we've done all of this what we can now do is to edit this image a little bit just to make it pop out and look very interesting okay so come to edit come to adjust then with the brightness you increase the little bit okay the saturation increase that one also a little bit okay then the vibrance a little bit okay then come to clarity and also increase that a little bit okay so something like this and i think it's working okay now that we've done that what we can do now is to come into the back over here and search for plastic okay plastic and you should see under photos we have a lot of plastic elements in here so you can choose any of them increase the size send it behind okay you can either send it just behind the guy or send behind every thing okay but i think it should be on top of the steel sticks so that it looks interesting and you can see this is what we have at the moment i hope you found it helpful i hope you also found it easy to follow look we have a design community and i want to invite you personally to my design community the link can be found in the description box below if you are on the free version of canva i have canva pro link down below you know to help you try canva pro for free the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next video. Peace.